Loving presentation takeaways are vested in three areas. Number one, the 14th Amendment imposes equal protection. Recall that original formation of U.S. Republic, the Bill of Rights only applied to the federal government and not to individual state government due to early U.S. Republic deference to states' rights and sovereignty. This legal respect can still be seen in today's laws, as stated in the Constitution, that rights not expressly allocated to the federal government are by default reserved for the states. For we have states here, not provinces, not departments, not prefectures. With passage of the 14th Amendment, its language of equal protection for all U.S. citizens are used as a legal vehicle or mechanism to enforce adoption of the Bill of Rights onto individual states. Number two, miscegenation statutes are unlawful and unconstitutional. For the right to marry is considered a fundamental civil right Albeit, this is as much an evolution of societal norms as much as a mature or redefining of a foundational civil right. For the greatest virtue of our U.S. Republic is the ability to change as societal norms and people change. It is up to each generation to determine the benefits and consequences of certain laws for American citizens, because each American generation commands its own self-determination in our republic, by which future American generations will determine whether to preserve, modify, or expressly outlaw such laws in question. Only the future will know for sure. In our case, the right to freely marry between a man and a woman whether it be monoracial or interracial, as a matter of individual self-determination and self-imposed social contract, cannot be interfered by state police powers, for it is beyond the reach of government intervention. And as such, all existing state laws enforcing this anti-miscegenation mandate is what the court defined as arbitrary, and invidious discrimination. Number three, the 14th Amendment also protects due process. Due process defined as the ability to formally submit complaint to the judicial system. A U.S. citizen, along with other individuals in our republic, are legally entitled to seek remedy or resolution through the court system. This is one fundamental right enshrined in our American Republic that no political entity can issue de facto punishment or administrative decrees. All are subject to review by the judicial system.